okay hi guys so in this lecture we'll be discussing on the payload of a balloon concept so let's get started so we'll be discussing on payload and for example we'll be taking the example of payload of a balloon okay so payload of a balloon in case of balloon we can define payload as nothing but lifting power of balloon okay and this can be written as maximum weight that can be lifted by a balloon is called its payload maximum load rather maximum weight that can be lifted by a balloon is its payload so whenever an object rises in air whenever an object rises in air then we must write that density of gas filled in the balloon should be less than density of air displaced okay and volume of gas filled will be equal to volume of displaced air okay and we can write that weight of gas filled so as volume of gas field is less than uh, is equals to volume of displaced air that means only thing that can uh, help us achieve this relationship is that weight of gas field should be less than weight of air displaced okay then only the density of gas field would be le uh, less than the density density of air displaced okay so what happens is I'll just have a example that suppose this was the bail payload which has to be lifted up by a balloon and this was our balloon okay which has some gas filled okay so we can write that weight of payload or simply payload is itself a weight so payload plus weight of balloon plus weight of gas field should be at max equal to weight of air displaced okay so this is the maximum weight of payload that we can put or which can be lifted by a, a balloon into the air so from this equation we can calculate the payload okay so with this we come to the end of this concept next let's start talking about diffusion and effusion okay most of you must be familiar with the concept concept of diffusion uh, from the previous uh, classes so let's first start off with the definition of diffusion so diffusion is spontaneous mixing of gases by collisions and random motion of gas uh, gas molecules okay so this is spontaneous mixing of gases by collisions and random motion of gas molecules okay so let's say we had a container with a partitioner or a partition simply which contained gas A molecules and gas B molecules now this partition is opened up so 
so as a result we will have only one container in which both the molecules of a and b with will exist some molecules of b here and will exist uh, together and some molecules of a so this is a mixture of gas a and gas b okay and what is effusion effusion is a process in which gas molecules uh, escape through a small hole into vacuum at low pressure okay so it is a process in which gas molecules escapes or passes through a small hole into vacuum at low pressure at low pressure okay so in fact i might have called off this term or may i may not have explicitly told this term but the sense i might have told in some previous lectures so that is a term which i am referring to here when we talk about the intermixing or when we talk about homogeneous mixing of gases then through the small hole we can actually achieve that and in fact if through the same small hole we actually pass on many gases then they both interact or uh, means all the gases interact with each other and form a homogeneous mixture in that way i correlated the terms effusion with diffusion okay so diagrammatically we can show, show this that we have this container initially this container contained only this gas or particles of a okay and this was a partition and this was vacuum over here next what happened is we actually did a small hole here somewhere in the partition let's say here we did a hole so now what happened is this a gas particles started spreading themselves in the other side of the partition as well so this phenomena is known as effusion now let's talk about graham's diffusion or effusion law okay so at constant temperature pressure the rate of diffusion is inversely proportional to the square root of density of gas okay so this is the graham's law so we can write it at at constant temperature pressure rate of diffusion is inversely proportional to square root of density of gas square root of density of the gas okay so let's say rate of diffusion is r and we can say that r is proportional to 1 upon root of density or root of rho and we know density can be written as density or rho rather can be written as pm upon rt okay we have already discussed in our previous video lectures so in a, in a sense we can write that r is inversely proportional to pm upon rt now we know that we have a constant temperature and pressure so p r and t are constants here so we can directly write that p or uh, rather r is inversely proportional to square root of molar mass of the gas okay so if you have to calculate the ratio of rate of diffusion this is by the way rate of diffusion 
okay so we have to calculate the ratio of rate of diffusion of two molar gases with molar mass m2 and m1 or other m1 and m2 we can write that rate of diffusion would be of the of uh, would be square root of m2 upon m1 where m2 is the molar mass of the second gas and m1 is the molar mass of first gas gas 1 and molar mass of gas 2 okay so with this we come to the end of this lecture in the next lecture we'll be continuing on seeing more on graham's law and diffusion and diffusion till then good luck and goodbye